Hello, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. We're going to read for Taurus right off the bat. Then we'll go into a soul collective, soulmate connection. Gotcha. Thank you. First, we're thinking of Taurus. Taurus, we're going to use the purple deck. Taurus. Beautiful readings in the last week. Just gorgeous. What a great energy. Coming to terms. Movement. Here we go. Taurus. Taurus. Come through, please. Taurus. Come on through. King of Pentacles. Here we go. It's so important to have that home, that sustainability. This is our home. It's protected. It's divinely protected. No one's going to come and mess with us. No one's going to fuss or bother us. Eight of Wands. Speed, action, uh, perhaps even air travel. Communication. We're going to see. We're going to clarify all of this. Nine of Cups. Yes, 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 and yes. Wishes fulfilled. Going towards that, you know that you are destined to be with this person your your divine connection ace of swords victory breakthrough aha moment and four of wands in the middle of your reading celebration harmony the gra the great foundation not even a tower event can disrupt the world card Something has been completed and a new world is opening up. Your soulmate is stepping through the opening, the aperture. So we have the King of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles right below. Aha moment in between. Practical. This is the home fires, keeping the home fires burning. And this is keeping the house prepared and safe. Letting the burden down. Ten of Wands, right underneath, okay, wand, all this fire energy. Eight of Wands, Four of Wands, Ten of Wands in reverse. To the happiest card in the tarot deck. How about some fun? Looking forward to some fun, some levity, some, um, my gosh, something, something to look forward to. Um, happiness is coming your way. Are you prepared for that happiness? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. Community recognition of a super couple. Two people have been brought together. It is recognized as it's proclaimed. You two are, are a power couple. Recognized as two people who can move mountains together. Let's do go for some clarification, though, okay? Some clarification. Thank you. Thank you. Please come through. So we're talking about the King of Pentacles, a very Taurian energy. But what is it about? It's about security. It's about sitting in your home, knowing that no one's going to come and mess with your home. It's divinely protected. Okay, what we have now the Ten of Swords, but in reverse. And Three of Wands, anticipation to the Empress. Okay. For some of you, the environment, the home, has been a point of contention. Let me just tell the the, the home could have been a point of contention, may still be uh, a place where... Um, there's a, a lot of extra emotions. There are a lot of extra ideas, things that are causing not just confusion, questions causing confusion, but also disrupting the harmony, disrupting the harmony of the home. The Empress is here to let you know, to inform you, everything is going to be all right. She's going to make sure of it. The Empress, this great card, it represents um, the energy of an entity here. It could be the energy of two entities, which would be you and your person. 
And that is a, a glorious thing indeed. Um, the, the Ten of Swords in reverse. Something has occurred to make the home feel not as comfortable, not as homey. Um, for many Torians, the home is their environment, their refuge. And they go home to um, regroup, recharge their batteries. So it must be everything clean, comfortable, welcoming, protected. It has, um, the home has received a couple of um, knocks, but it's going to stand. In the middle of your reading is the Four of Wands, that great foundation. Your home is going to stand. If not, you might be traveling to a new home. I do see the Three of Wands here. Indicative of anticipation. Perhaps you're looking for a new home. Relax in this because you are divinely protected. We do have the Eight of Wands, which means there is some motion going on. There's some communication, um, an increase of communication, I should say. Perhaps some air travel to the Two of Wands. And, yeah, someone wants to offer you the world. Hmm. You might be creating your own new brand. Um, it's just this feeling of anticipation along with the Three of Wands, then the Two of Wands, future planning, progress. Uh, someone has made some decisions or some decisions are in motion. Thank you. Let's go on. Yeah, things have not been fair. So we are seeing the Six of Pentacles, which I enjoy as much as the Libra Justice card. But here it's, it's not just generosity and charity, it's sharing the wealth. It's an equal um, amount given to both people, attention and affection. Let's continue with this a little bit. Okay, Page of Cups. Perhaps you're going to receive a message. Um, if you do, it's going to be a little bit silly. It's a little bit, um, I don't want to say immature because that's a negative connotation. I'll say childlike. You might receive a childlike um, message. doesn't mean it doesn't hold gravitas. It just means someone is approaching you in a very humble manner because they realize they're speaking to the Empress, no gender in tarot. The male could be the Empress too. Uh, you, you could have um, a message being brought to you but um, even if the message is, uh, appears to you to be a little silly, look at it. See what the message actually is. Um, it is in a recognition also that you're, going, you're both going towards your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillments. With clarification, here we go with the Justice card. That is what we want to see, especially when the Six of Pence is right here too. High Priestess, these things you've already known. You've already known... Um, Perhaps you were told something that was um, not known to everyone, but before you were told, you understood this to be the truth anyway. Why? Because you have that great high intuition. What is it? It is that you have your two of cups here. Before you were even told, you recognized it. Um, this is the, ang ang I'm anxious. Where is this person? I feel their energy. They're, they're getting ready to come towards you. We see the Six of Pentacles and the Libra card. Things must be fair. As Cathal would say, not just 50-50, but 100 and 100. Each person bringing the best of what they have to each other. Gorgeous. What a reading. Nice. Look at Even look at that first row of cards. But don't forget what the, um, the energy that's informing this reading is the Six of Wands. It's a recognition. Okay, let's go on. Say the aha moment. What are, what are we talking about? Okay, the aha is when someone comes for, um, again with that message, but it's a very fiery, um, energetic, passionate message. Um, not a shrinking violet speaking here to you. Not at all. Judgment, let me tell you about this. What you once thought was dead and buried is now arising. It is ascending. And, okay, Four of Swords. I'm going to say it like this. Someone is coming forward because they feel you withdrawing your energy. So uh, when they no longer um, 
feel your 110% support, they're wondering where the, you are. Where are you? Um, have you found someone else? That would be catastrophic to them. But this is, you're so brilliant for doing this. And it's, it's a cycle of being able to um, tune into your own energy levels and saying, you know, I need a rest right now. Today, I'm, I'm unplugged. I'm, I'm turning off the cell phone as much as I can. I'm taking this day to myself. What did they say about absence, making the heart grow fonder? Hmm. Let's do go on though. We're talking about Taurian energy, especially the foundation is key. We have the 11, 11, so 11, 11, and in between the two of two people, two of cups. So it's it to me, it, it, especially in a reading like this, the energy that I feel is like soulmate, soulmate. Ah, uh, yeah, someone, <laughs> So the shoulda, woulda, coulda is the eight of swords in reverse. However, remember I was telling you, if they thought you had found someone else, um, that's what they're looking right at you. It would, it would be, it would be the worst. King of Cups. Okay. So this is emotional balance. A, I, I say a majestic, beautiful love, a classical love story in the middle of your reading. So you have everything. You have a little bit of jealousy, a coulda, woulda, shoulda, some regret. I'm someone they're keeping their eye on you. You're always in their mind and in their heart. Someone is concerned and, and um, working towards this great foundation because they feel this King of Cups. And in the world, world turning in your favor. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, realizing that um, this energy, this love is increasing, not stagnating. Even when you go into your, your recuperation moments, it's not stagnating. It's increasing. It's like, yeah, let me catch my breath and then you'll really see how fast I can run. A defensive posture. That's when other people don't understand what's going on here. But you know it. This is... I'm never, <laughs> I'm never going to give up. Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, I'm never going to give up. I'm on my way. I'm the slowest moving card in the tarot deck, but I do not give up. I am not someone who gives up. The Queen of Pentacles, so, uh, she's the hostess with the mostess. So welcoming, makes everyone feel at home. But let me tell you something else about the Queen of Pentacles. She doesn't deal with any mess in her house. She'll be like, oh, okay, take that outside. That that drama, whatever is going on, the, the jealousy or what someone else feels, um, yeah, take, take that outside and, and get it straightened out because I protect the house. The Ten of Cups. And you see the Ten of Cups, or I call it Ten of Hearts sometimes. There's an actual protective shield over the loving couple. That's divine, divinely given. So now we have the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Love, calm, intuitive, emotional security. Wouldn't that be nice? How lovely. But then it's just another reminder, a reminder, the Hermit, Virgo energy, still soul searching, still understanding more about, um, and this song comes back to me, I want to know what love is. I think it's from Foreigner. I want you to show me. I. I want to feel what love is. I know you can show me something like that. It's a strong, um, I didn't know it would be like this. I didn't know I would feel like this. They're, they're really doing their best to acclimate to this great energy. And, and we're talking about pure love, unconditional love. This is energy that if you're not familiar with it, it can really knock you for a loop. Ten of wands in reverse. Once it's just, Everything it is going to fall into line. Everything's going to fall into place and divine timing. You're going to be able to put this Ten of Wands down. Yeah, Knight of Cups on their way too. But realize, this is someone who is um, carrying a crush, a romance. Uh, they're very charming. But they're not someone who is hectically running towards you. They're figuring it out, yeah. Six of Cups. 
this is why I'm so comfortable with you. This innocent, beautiful. I know you. My soul recognizes you. I've always known you. I recognized you when I saw your eyes. I looked into your eyes. <laughs> but who can I tell about the way I feel? Who is going to be able to understand this absolutely beautiful Disney-like movie? This is almost like a movie, okay? It's, it's beautiful. Who's going to believe it? I, I just, I have to keep you close in my heart and in, and in my mind. Um, and in a way, they're, they're protecting, they're protecting your connection. Do you know what I mean? They don't want other people to even say not one thing about it because they don't want to be in defensive posture. What's the outcome? Yes, happiness, the sun card, trust and believe. You are their hopes, wishes, and dreams. And quite frankly, they are your manifestations, hope, wishes, and dreams too. Why? The lover's card, this Gemini energy. Look at, you've got Aquarius, the star card, sun, Leo energy, the lover's card, and page of wands. A lot of enthusiasm. Let's explore more about our love together. I'm going to run in. I've got that Knight of Swords. I've got, I'm compelled to rush towards you. I have to say it. You've kept me waiting in this wounded warrior pose. Yep. Um, other people can see me waiting. That's okay. I'm waiting. I'm not going to give up. I'm, I'm resilient that way. I'm not going to let anyone um, make me feel any kind of way towards this connection. I'm not going to go into defensive posture. Things have to change, though. What I have right now is not working for me. So I have to change how I look at love, what I think love is, and make room for you in my world. Yeah, the Hierophant. It's important for me to do things correctly, not just in an emotional way, running around like my hair is on fire. It's important to do things in the correct manner. We are a power couple. Other people see us. Um, how they feel about us, I don't care. But it's important for me to have this respect for you and to show everyone how much I will protect and care for you. I've seen a lot in my life. The hangman. I've juggled a lot in my life. Let me put this right here. I've juggled a lot in my life. Some of them have been um, doing what I had to do at the time, not what I want. Doing what I had to do, not what I wanted to do. When I tell you, though, I'm going to take this leap of faith, you best believe. The wheel of fortune is turning in our favor. Yeah, this inspiration does come from the universe. Yeah, sometimes I wonder at this this great how did we how did we ever find each other with all the several billion people on this earth? How did we find each other? It's it's it must be from the universe, and there we go. It's it's a divine connection, and the universe has allowed us to manifest each other. I manifested you. You manifested me. We just didn't know. We just didn't know. It's not easy, is it? It's not easy, but it sure is beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of rest. And then I'm going to... Do you see my um, my cooking scars? <laughs> I, I used the grill a couple weeks before, and now they're... They're looking much better. <laughs> okay, you guys. Uh, I just love being here with you. Please like and subscribe so we can continue to grow through this together. All right? Okay. Take care. I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.